Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to IS205 lecture series where this video is specifically uh, done for UBS guide number one uh, that uh, topic, uh, topic that we should, we should cover in this video is on the setting up the new company and also um, where you will enter the opening balances of um, the accounts in the company let's uh we let's begin shall we uh, before we open the uh, applications i would like to remind you uh, to have these um uh, informations uh, that are already shared with you uh if you um, do not have it so you need to download it first uh, before you um, uh, begin the practicing of UBS because these are the information of the company that will be used in this video okay uh, now we open the um, the applications uh, you go to your desktop or where which you uh, place the shortcut or you can go to uh, um, uh, execution file in your C drive but usually when you install um, uh, UB, uh, UBS software there will be a shortcut on your desktop so you just double click uh, the shortcut so your the application will open up with you um, so when you want to create a new company because these are the list these are the list actually um of the company that already exist in the uh in, in the applications of ups that you already uh, installed in the, the computer uh maybe you have only two i have three and four uh, so the new one is you just click uh button add here on the bottom just click add okay uh, remember that um our company uh, just uh, like I said just now, you must have the uh, word document file that uh, say that our company is um, the company that we will use in this video. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, the name of the uh, company is ZYX Enterprise. So in your uh, the new company that you want to create <coughs> yeah, well, for the records is for the company that you call ZYX Enterprise. So you put the company name ZYX Enterprise in the company name uh, box here. Okay, then in the directory, you must specify where you want to uh, save all the records regarding the uh, ZYX uh, enterprise records. Where, where, you should, where you want to save it. So you need to specify on the directory. So you click the uh, arrow uh, down uh, button here. Just click here and it will specify which directory that you will you want to save anything that records relating to zyx enterprise okay and just select uh, the ups acc 19 let's click here and do not forget to put the name of the company that is z Y X. 
so the software will create a new folder for you so that um, all the records regarding uh, this company will be saved in this new folder uh, so you must specify that one okay and after that you click save so that the software will soft, uh, will save it for you now you have this company on the list of uh, the directory there now once you have uh, specified this is the new company that you want to open and record the data all right so um, once it appear on the list you click cancel click cancel at the bottom so it will go to the main menu of uh, 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 I'm not sure the small window the main menu so now you can select the company that you want to record the data so just uh, if you, if you want to select the car, then you click the car. But you want to select the Z, uh, Z Y X Enterprise, the new company that you create. So once you can select that one, then you go uh, to the housekeeping menu. Uh, how to generate the data files? Because your new company do not have any data on it. So the uh, application offer. To generate the data file for you okay then you just click OK yes yes so the um, the application will generate the data for you uh, uh, those are the necessary uh, things uh, to record your accounts later and click OK now you comes to the main menu uh, where you want to, uh, to log in as which user uh, the, this um, uh, main menu is actually to specify uh, which user um, uh, we can specify uh, our worker is only for recording recording data only or you can specify your uh, staff uh, 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 to be access to uh, uh, only the uh, account payable uh, account payable files uh, not for others and maybe you want to specify certain certain batch uh, transactions that you want the stuff uh, to be able to access to uh, not for other batches so those are the um, restriction, restrictions that you can put for the staff. And this is where uh, uh, logging in as which user, right? Okay, so since we are for education purposes, um, want to access to everything. So put the user ID at the main and the password u b s with the capital letter remember capital letter u b s now the date uh, is for today um, sometimes you can specify on the, the prior date but it's not advisable because uh, um, the software usually for running or recording transactions as uh, the date you want uh, uh, means that you can trail off when the data is actually uh, being recorded on. Okay, you click sign in, then you will be uh, directed to uh, to the main menu of the UPS software. It may take some times depending on your computer okay this is only the, the feedback uh, just click do it <laughs> because it, it will um, submit to your um, feedback uh, 
uh, headquarters uh, will help those feedback whether the software is good or not so that could uh, improve in the future okay just like i said depending on how good uh, how fast or how good your computer running this software okay then you come to the setup wizard for your company okay the, these are the details um of the company that you uh, uh, want to uh, to uh, to put actually you can uh, update this uh, company detail later on in the housekeeping menu okay uh, let's uh, uh, put the details uh, like uh, we have here a lot of the address uh, the name of the company right uh, Okay, the name, uh, the address. Luckily, this um, this software giving you ability to copy paste. Otherwise, uh, it will be difficult for you uh, um, to type one by one um, your details, right? Okay, just the name and the address. Uh, the ROC is your registration of the companies. Uh, you should put it because it's very, uh, it makes your company legal. But just leave it there. We don't have it. Okay, next. Okay, next. Uh, this is where you specify the accounting year. If you start, um, uh, uh, okay, for example, let's from uh, last accounting year means that um uh which which are the uh, the last accounting year okay the, to, today is i mean this year is 2021 okay let's say you your accounting year from january to december so today now it's, it's already december um 2021 so you're Closing the date is the deepest December 2020. That is the last year, right? Okay, and now we want to use this software. Uh, if we if you put the starting period one uh, later on, you are a bit difficult uh, um, to enter the opening data for uh, expenses and revenues because if you start from one. January means the opening opening of accounting year. So op when um, you start with the opening accounting year on January, um, uh, your opening balance is only for assets, um, uh, equity, the capital, uh, and also the, the um, uh, liabilities. Your revenue and expenses will not be there because uh, revenue and expenses are temporary accounts. Remember uh, when you learn in uh, uh, introductions of uh, FAR 110, so th those revenue and expenses are temporary accounts. Uh, once the accounting year ends, you calculate revenue, deduct expenses, and you will have the net profit. So all those uh, uh, account will be closed at the end of the year, and they will not have balances to move forward to move to the account the next accounting year. So only those assets, assets, uh, liabilities, and also the capital will brought forward to the next year. So for the purpose of um, uh, practicing the UBS for this video. I will not. Uh, uh, I will. I will start from November. I mean, 
from January to October, you probably using the manual um, accounting records. So we start using the this UBS application start November. So the starting period you put eleven. Do not put one. Okay. You, sorry. Wait. It's, it's not really user friendly. <laughs> okay, you just uh, um, uh, press delete and backspace and make sure that uh, the starting period box is empty. Then you can uh, type 11 for starting period. All right and the closing period is 12 okay but your accounting year actually from 1st january 2021 to 31st december 2021 is still 12 months only the data the account that you uh, already made from january to october in the manual form and now you using UPS um, in um, starting November or probably from January to October you uh, record the accounts in other kind of software okay once you specify the starting period then you click next okay um, you may set up the master data now but it will be hassle so you just want to set up later just click at the setup later and you click done um, then you will uh, go to now we have the main menu or uh, uh, what are the um the account uh, the ups software uh then now you um already um set up the new company for using this uh, UBS software for the next topic is to enter the opening balances uh, for uh, the new company that you set up it means that the uh, for the the company of ZYX so if you look into the, the data that has been given to you okay so the data will be given to you. Um, uh, okay, these are the uh, balances that been given to you. Okay, so this is uh, the chart. Because um, the first thing to do when you create a new company is you actually to create the accounting chart. Uh, means that you want to create what are the accounts to be involved in the this new company okay so it uh, already given you the chart of accounts um, uh, what are the uh, the code the account number and the descriptions and the account type and then the SA is actually for specifying the special accounts uh, special accounts means that it will link to uh, for, for example, it will lead to um, um, accumulated depreciations or the payment voucher or the uh, um, uh, cash book or the uh, uh, cash account. So, so, so depends on uh, um, uh, the uh, descriptions of that particular items. Okay, the type is actually uh, the same as account type. So later on, we look at what this um, initial for. And then the last column is for the balances of the accounts. So this is a, what are the uh, opening balances that you need to enter in the applications. Okay. To... Um, to enter this balance, so you need to have to have this uh, uh, account first in your chart of accounts. Okay, goes back to your uh, UBS software. Uh, 
to create the charts is go to the general the you go to the menu bar general just click there or you can click here doesn't matter okay click the general uh, menu bar you have the general ledger account maintenance so you click on that one so this is where you create the accounts uh, for example just now you need to create the account of capital so you click uh, to add the new accounts so you just click uh, uh, add button here on the bottom click add and the account number you must refer to the list so the account number has been specified 1000 slash 00 okay so 1000 actually it's only four um, characters only anyway but usually the the uh, the main uh, the main coding is uh, numeric uh, and and the secondary uh, coding uh, can be in alphabet alphabetical um, so zero 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 is the secondary okay account descriptions is capital you know, better use the uppercase or the um, uh, capital letters okay capital uh, if you see um, it does not specify the special accounts so the special account will be left uh, empty department and also what are the uh, um, um, the other details that can be just uh, Hmm. leave it there you can start uh, putting the opening balances here the last year figure but uh, uh, never mind because um, um, later on we will enter the opening balances uh, in one uh, go right okay so start the capital um, and then you click on which belongs to the classifications uh, uh, which are the this uh, relating to this capital and capital is of course a for the capital written earnings you can see from the list here the account type type is a right so go to that click a specify here and this capital uh, amount or uh, figure that you uh, record and will be appearing in the balance sheets uh, the old name for segment of financial positions okay once you click save right so you can see that uh, actually you have already created that new account okay click uh, the cross rate or you can just exit okay you can uh, check back that you already um, uh, uh, create that accounts you go to general and print chart of account okay just click all of above everything then click ok so you have here that is the account that you already create okay click exit click okay. click cancel uh, but um that is uh, a, a limitation way using the general account you can create all this this account except for uh, the are uh, uh, the individual debtors uh, individual account receivables and individual account of account payables okay uh, this can be done in um, debtor maintenance and creditor maintenance uh, menu 
Okay, let's clear the next um, uh, account. So you just click add. Okay, then the account number is being emptied, but the uh, account descriptions um, is retained. So you go to the next um, um, account, is retained earnings 1050. 1050 000, 000, 000, right and this, this is uh, the name of the description is retained earning or retained profit a similar name and you can uh, see here the retained earnings um, uh, still the type uh, is capital and the special account is PA. Let's have a look what is PA and all about. Okay, special account is PA. So you click the search button. So PA, you can see that AD is a community division account, BK is bank account, uh, BS is balance sheet stock, CA is cash account. CC is credit card receivable uh, account. Oh, so, so many. Okay, what is PA? Come, let's have a look. Look, oh, where is it? Oh, there you are. Profit account. So you specify this uh, retain and it's actually a profit account that will be retained uh, on the net profit. So you click add. Uh, click OK first. Click OK. Okay, now the special account is PA and remember to specify which uh, this account belongs to. So click A, it belongs to the capital and the earnings and click the save. Uh, okay, you already saved that one. So click another one to click add. So the, the next is 2000 non-current asset. Okay. So you just click two thousand non current asset, but this software is very very old because we use the older version. The new version is already uh, changed uh, to non current asset, um, but. Uh, for the purpose of this, using the old version, non-current asset is known as fixed asset. So non-current asset, again, check. Uh, the non-current asset do not have special accounts. Uh, it's actually a main title, right? And this belong to the D, the fixed asset, right? So you click the type is D, right? D here. The, oops. It's not specify. Okay, then click save. Okay, next. Um, okay, then you can enter all these um, accounts details. Um, on your own and uh, not in the video uh, it will be a long video if i show one by one just i want to show it on the um a car receivable control account or debtors control account where the individual account can be created uh, in the general maintenance uh, or you can uh, better create it in the debtors uh, maintenance uh, let's look uh, how we done we do it okay uh, so the just now um, wait, wait forgot okay 3000 TER control account so 3000 uh, this is should be in the general uh, ledger so the AR control account so the uh, you can uh, put uh, a long one account receivables Control account superpose. Okay, and the account suppose is belong to the current asset. Okay, 
if you're not sure just you just can uh, refer to the list again okay and do not have specific special accounts whatsoever okay next is the individual account okay uh, you can create in this um, general maintenance uh, uh, where you have this um, uh, 3000 E01 RE Enterprise okay uh, you can you can create here uh, but also you can create in another um, uh, menu that is on the debtors uh, file maintenance where for uh, debtors uh, file maintenance <coughs> uh, you can specific uh, you can enter more details for example the the the, the, the name of uh, the address and also the attention to i mean the specific uh, contact person in the company that you uh, if you want to contact uh, so this detail is much um, clearer for the company uh, so it, it better for you to put all the details of your customers and also for uh, supplier later on on the menu of creditors maintenance uh, menu okay let's say just now the uh, RE Enterprise 3000A01 so 3000 suspect by the number that the number 3000 oh you forgot click at first <laughs> for the new one 3000 a01 okay this one for it calls re enterprise okay if, uh, if you're not sure just refer it again re enterprise and it belongs to the current asset return. okay and you can put all the details here right then click save and click the save So if you look into the general account maintenance scheme, <coughs> oh sorry, it goes to general uh, print chart account. You can have a look what you have uh, uh, done. So you can see you can see that this the. Um, uh, you do not have to specify the RE Enterprise uh, belongs to the current asset uh, because when you uh, key in the details of RE Enterprise in the debtors maintenance uh, 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 menu, so it's already recognized debtors are the um, uh, uh, current asset. Okay. Now. Uh, I want to show you the creditors one. So click general ledger maintenance uh, for the creditors or the account payables. Okay, account payable is stuck with four thousand. Okay, uh, uh, you can have a look that the coding is one is for equity, two is for. Um, non current asset and three for current asset four is for current liability and um, uh, five is for revenue six for expenses eight for uh, other incomes and nine uh, wait, wait five is for specifically for um for uh, revenue that's specific for sales uh, that relating to the sales and six is relating to the purchases the trading ones and then nine is for other expenses okay so uh, depends on how you creating the chart of accounts okay back to the again the account payable control account so four thousand 
so it's zero right so you can click add for thousand zero 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 is account payable account payable control account <coughs> Not specific, but it's in the G current diabetes. Okay, save. Okay, exit. You can click the cross X. All right, go to the creditors file maintenance. Okay, uh, let's say we have uh, in the list we have this F's number had 4000 F01. Okay, you can click add the 4000. F01, the name is F Sanjara Amberhat. The coding is um, the secondary uh, coding uh, code there. Um, uh, can be combination of uh, letters of the alphabetical and numeric. Uh, it can also numeric, all numeric and can be all um, alphabetical depends on how you uh, create the coding for the accounts uh, okay and then click add let's say sorry then click exit and when you go to the uh, uh, checking back all the um, chart of account the accounts that are you already create and click OK. So you have there you have capital return earning non current asset and these account receivables um, right okay then you can continue to create all the accounts that are already in the list. Okay, let's say you made a mistake while uh, entering, um, um, uh, creating this uh, account. So let, let's say you have already created a um, bank account, but you forgot to put the special special uh, um, account that belongs to the bank. Okay, you just click here, um, uh, the button of magnifying glass. So it's actually for search button. So you click search button here and the uh, the application open up a new window, a small window. Then it shows the account this thing. Okay, let's say you click at the bank here, the, the bank may bank. Then click OK. So it goes back to the details of how the creations. Well, here you just, um, you forgot to click the special account so bank may bank is actually uh, if you look at the list the bank may bank is b k p b c a or oh, so many things okay so uh, go to the special account b k right all right b k and c a So B K first, okay. And, and you also want uh, this thing now. P V and C A. C A, okay. Uh, and also, what is that? P V. Ah uh, yes, P V. P V. P V. P V. Come on, okay. P V. Click OK. So BKCAPV, you specify the special account and then you click save again. So uh, uh, you're already editing uh, the um, the existing uh, account type, uh, account, uh, list of accounts. Okay, once you already enter. Um, um, create the accounts uh, list of accounts 
for this company and the next step is to enter the opening balances of those accounts means that uh, what are the accounts that should be balances starting from 1st November 2021 so it uh, now goes to the general bar menu so you have drop down menu of and the opening balance number two okay these are the accounts that you already create so if you start with one uh, this with income and expenses account will be disabled so you can enter the amount of uh, income and expenses account so since we create this uh, company data start from a uh, period of 11 uh, means the November so it, this um, with income expenses account is enabled so you can uh, enter the amount of um, opening balances for this uh, income and expenses account okay so, um, to enter the balances okay refer back to the data that you have so you have here capital is 190,000 so in the um, um, uh, the UPS okay then you put and always remember you must know which balance credit or debit uh, always remember asset drawing expenses must be on the debit side and capital liability revenue must be in on the credit side so just now the um, uh, the amount is 190,000 so you just enter 190,000 okay okay make sure you have the correct zero and the next uh, one is 18 earnings 16 to 1 zero okay 16 310 okay you just enter uh, letter uh, 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 this software is not district uh, user friendly so you need actually to delete all this I mean highlight okay the character space of uh, the, the box so again after that then you can uh, type in um, uh, all the number okay 16 just check oh 210 sorry 16 210 two, okay all right um then you enter everything okay okay for inventory in this inventory amount 4000 is in the card asset so if you look at the list actually you have another uh, inventory that is opening inventory and closed inventory so make sure that that amount that 4000 is belong to this here this account the inventory in the current asset so please do not put in other place okay uh, just remember that once you key in all those uh, opening balances uh, uh, both debit side and credit side should be uh, balanced uh, with, with the same number uh, otherwise it will show only here I mean uh, only one green box showing uh, there is an imbalance uh, of uh, those accounts ba balances that you key in so if you already um, balances like this then you can exit from uh, the uh, opening balances uh, uh, enter opening balances window you click exit so that is already saved in the application so you can go to the um, check back the, the uh, chart of accounts everything is okay 
right so you have all those uh, account that necessary account that, uh, uh, to be in your uh, recording of accounts okay okay the, the next step is to distribute the aging uh, of invoices of your debtors uh, uh, debt and suppliers debt okay so if you look here on the information that given to you uh, these are the voices relating to debtors and creditors i mean the account receivables and the account payables so your debtors or your account receivables um are enterprise you have uh, um, uh, to the, uh, the, uh, the company um, starting using UBS is on November so you have a month old of invoices from I and uh, two months old uh, uh, for our enterprise it belongs to September and this one is belongs to October invoice so to distribute these invoices because um, the application need to know uh, the debt, actually the invoices, the debt that occur in which month because uh, later on uh, you want to um, use this application to analyze the aging of the debtors or aging of the invoices of suppliers so they, they need to know uh, which invoices that belongs to which uh, month uh, if you key in in the software uh, you are using the date, uh, the current date. So the application will pick up uh, which uh, invoice belongs to. But since uh, uh, these transactions actually occur before you use uh, UBS software, so you need to specify these uh, invoices belong to which uh, month. Okay, so let's um, have a look how uh, to do the dis uh, distributing the aging of uh, the invoices okay uh, to distribute the last year aging so you click uh, the adapters menu bar uh, uh, on the top and then the drop down menu will show you the distribute last year aging uh, is number two so you click here so uh, they will give you the list um, of the data that you have okay uh, when we check back uh, the information um, uh, given okay, the information that we have our enterprise has October invoice and September uh, invoices uh, 3,000 and 2,000 respectively so you um, uh, distribute this aging for RE enterprise uh, again uh, October 3 uh, September 2000 so October is will be belong to the um, the 10th uh, period uh, so the 9th period is for September because we start our period uh, is in November, so 11. So put out the September um, 2000. And automatically, uh, the application will cut it uh, for the 10. It will be the 3000. So you um, are advisable to put the amount um, prior to the, uh, the, the last month uh, that is on the 10 so you put our uh, for the five six seven eight nine uh, not the 10 because the 10 will be automatically calculated um the balances um of invoices um uh that you uh, uh, just now uh, uh key in the 2000 in, in september okay let's have a look on the bft um the BFT customer BFT you have um, four thousand on October, but in July and August. So July is seven, August is eight. So July is one one two zero. So it goes to July seven, one one two zero. Okay, right, one one two zero. And August 
is 1000. So, August 1000. So, there it will calculate it automatically on for October. You see, October is 4000. The same goes um, uh, for the creditors. Okay. So we have uh, included this one. So just click uh, CX. Uh, you do not need to uh, do anything for CX because the 2000s belong for October. Okay. Once we have done that, click exit. And for creditors, uh, this is um, click at the creditors above menu and the drop down uh, menu uh, distribute last year aging. Okay, you can see that this is ne negative form because uh, it is the current liability, so it's negative. So um, uh, later on, uh, um, okay, um, you need to put negative for for the invoices. Okay, let's have a look for Epstein number hat. You have June, August, June one six zero zero. So for June, okay, June. Okay, remember to put negative 1600. So it will be calculated. Okay, 7000 for the time. Okay, we have another one is uh, uh, in August 2000. Uh, ringgit. So August negative 2000. Ringgit. So automatically for the uh, uh, October is 5,000. It's automatically negative. Same goes with Anne Berhad. The Anne Berhad is on the October. Oh, sorry. PLP is 1,7. Okay. So, PLP. Okay, PLP is September and October. So, September um, 1,7, zero, zero. So remember, right? Oh, there are, must be a mistake here. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Um, um. Uh, we'll see you again for the next video for the next topic PS the guidance uh, using these uh, applications uh, okay bye bye